That seems good. Can I throw this in here? In case I mill it, I can still go into it from a lightning speed. But yeah, no. I would not have, for each Son Goku and Vegeta, any drop for the duration of the turn. I did not know that. I didn't read that part. Oh my god. That was a great game. Vegito just decimates shit. Holy fuck. Let's let's keep going. Vegito's actually kind of poggers. You see, I thought it would be bad at first because it's multicolor, but then I realized, like, wait, that's not multicolor. That's just two separate colors. Okay. So we're good. We're good. We're Gucci. Epic win. Let's see. Vegeta. Okay. Uh, dude, want to put Goku back? We'll, we'll, we'll put the super combo back because we'll get it eventually. And we'll put the red back because we don't need red energy. Like, at all. I think the rest of our hand is good. Yep. Okay, we definitely put this Vegeta in energy. That's that's the play for this deck because all your energy has to be blue. Which again is just a worse version of this Goku. Alright. He gets to draw one. Oh, and we drew into lightning charge. Alright, so we're gonna put this. Vegeta down. And we know that this deck has no destruction, so it's really safe to play our Gokus. And dig our top seven. Get our three drop, okay. No issue with that. Uh, we also get first attack, so first blood is going to be from us. Um, do we want to mill? We don't need to mill. We we have this dude in hand. We don't we don't need to mill. We can there there will be a chance to discard him later on. We don't need to mill. It's not like it's not like you block this early anyway. Yeah, Vegito is just. I don't know, this deck might be in a league of its own. Like, the way that I ended that last game was immaculate. I, I just... Mm. Okay. So he's using the double strike ability. That's really early. That's really early for the double strike thing. But maybe the play is that you use multiple throughout the game so that you... Oh, and he's gonna get critical. Okay. That's, that's, that's what he's doing. But is he gonna boost to where he's... Unguardable? Like, what's his play here? Don't tell me he doesn't combo. Alright, so he combos one. Two, three, four. How many cards are you? How many cards are you gonna combo, my brother? <laughs> That's it. Just one. Make it. That was such a waste of resources because, of course, I'm not letting that go through. Like what? Uh, no. I want to keep this Vegeta. I mean, I want to keep this Vegeta because the, the the play with this is saucy. We can put this uh, Goku down. What, 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 what was he trying to accomplish with that? I, I just don't get it. Like, I know normally you don't block early, but like that is two cards that I could have, you know, two cards I could have used. All right. Um, do we want to place? No, we're not going to place lightning speed down. We're going to use this.
Is this energy generic? Yes, it's generic. Um, and yeah, that's that's blue stuff. So. Um, we're gonna charge this Goku. So we can go for the plus two combo. Uh, we're gonna bring out... Yeah, okay. One drop Goku, one drop Vegeta. And then we get the play powers combined. Boom, we get to draw two. It doesn't really matter that they don't do anything because that, that's that's not the priority. All right, so we're gonna attack with this with, with Vegeta. We're not gonna mill. Although, like, I feel like maybe we should. I just I'm just too paranoid to mill the um, super combo again. If that happens again, I'll, I'll, I'll never forgive myself. That might cost me the game or something. I don't know, but. Right, just gonna let that go through. And back. Let's see if it lets this go through. Alright, who's gonna block that? I mean, sure. So you can add a card from life to hand, and then um you can add a card from life to hand and then go out on your turns. Now, it may look like I'm behind. He has eight, I have five in hand, but I still have eight life. So once he gives me that four damage, I'm be going up. I'm be getting those four cards. Now, maybe he might critical, and at this point, I'm, I just don't have the resources to block a critical, so I'm not gonna block whatever critical he brings out, you know? If he criticals me, he criticals me. You know, that's just the way it is. So if he criticals and then he flips, he loses a critical. I don't know if he realizes that. Because that's what I learned last game. I mean, like two games ago. So if he flips here, he loses a critical. So he can either attack without critical, or flip and lose the critical. So he's going to try the same thing again. I mean, again, I don't I don't have the resources to block. I could potentially block if he only puts like one down. No, he's, he's super combo. I'm, I'm not blocking this shit. No, that's you good, bro. You got it. You got it, bro. So he, so he knew he would lose the critical if he flipped over. So that's why he didn't flip over yet. I didn't know that, so. Alright, King Kai. Why is he drawing King I never drew King Kai in that deck. That's crazy. Alright. Coercion. So here's here's the play, right? Either we put this red Vegito down, or we put the red. We could just put down the. 
We could just put down this this Vegeta, honestly. It's it's not It's not that serious. Because he has so many cards in hand and he still has the one energy, so I know he has maybe two or three Weiss's coercions. I, I wanna bait those out as soon as possible. But I do want to get down to four life because I do want to draw. I do want to start drawing. Oof. And if I put this down, I have to put this Vegito down next turn. Like there's there's no he loses the ability to be played. I think that is to play. But there's no way for me to charge twice, so either way, I still have to wait till his turn to get the plus two, so... And there's no other red card I can put down, because these two need to stay in hand. So... Yeah. Try to make him sacrifice as many cards as possible, basically is the best play for now. Um, it was not right. All right, now, now I kind of just look goofy. Yeah, it did seem like I was ahead, but this is a waste of a turn. So I think I'm going to he's going to put me behind next turn. Like no ifs, ands or buts about it. If he pulls again and goes critical again, I'm, I'm definitely going to be behind after that. Weiss's counter. Weiss's coercion, excuse me. I won't... I, I don't think I'll need to use Weiss's coercion this turn, but I might if it's... If it's a crit, I'll use Weiss's coercion. Or if he tries to attack one of my battle cards, I'll use Weiss's coercion. My man has used two of the banned cards so far. Does he have a third? He has nine cards in hand. Alright, he played his own Vegeta. Okay. So, in this scenario, I've, I Whis his Coercion, and then with that extra energy, I used a 7-drop Vegito as... Um, protection. Hmm. Which I think it is best to just let him go. Because he, he's not going to attack the uh, fucking Vegito until he thinks he can go for game. It's better to leave me with low resources. At least he's not attacking Vegeta. But do I coercion here? I think I do coercion. Because the cost of me not coercioning here is... I don't know. He potentially... 
I'm like, I have one less battle card. So he goes 5k. Um, you know what? Let him go minus one. I'm only... I'm still going to be at five life. So he's going to slowly chip away my cards. And that's 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 going to be his whole game plan. It's like, fuck. This is like the first person I've met who was, who isn't so like, I don't know. Adamant on me. Ooh, the Vegito got sent to grave. Okay, that's fine. That Vegito card would have been useless in our hand anyway. But now I can use this Vegito card as energy. That's good. That's actually really good. And he summons an Earth Blocker. How many of these has he used? One, two. So this is a third. This is the third one he has. So we're gonna charge this Vegito. You know, this is so funny because he spent all his time trying to stop me from awakening, not realizing that it's the Vegitos that are going to kill him. I might have game this turn. Like, no cap. I might have game this turn. Because this is going to allow me to... I have enough energy to Patara into Vegito. I don't think I'll need energy to Weiss's Coercion next turn, like, honestly. Can I not? Some Goku and Vegeta, right? Vegeta? This is... Wait, hold on. Sun Gohan, you've... Oh, no! Damn it. I was about to... Uh, man. I was so close. Okay. That's all right. I guess next turn. We'll place our Goku down then. Yeah, let's let's just start attacking. I think it's always best to threaten his life because I'm not scared of his battle cards. But the second we play this Vegito, I think we win. So if we can survive till next turn, which with five life, I seriously doubt he can take five life in one turn. Because I know this deck, like, what what threats does it have? Like, this North Kai is, like, the biggest threat it has. Like, he's gonna critical us one more time, but we're gonna get the draw, too. And we're gonna be at 15k. So... Okay, he's starting to use his coercions. How many coercions is that? That's two so far. So he's used three blockers, two coercions. Three coercions, okay. He really thinks he has game next turn. Which is kind of funny because he definitely does not. But that's perfectly fine with me. I'm going to attempt to mill. Yep. Milling worked. So it's 15. He just needs 5k to block. But look, now we're somewhat even in card pool. And I did very little. I did very little to actually do anything. I just played a Goku. So it definitely was correct to coercion stop the attack of our 
this thing because now he has no real way to draw cards except to attack and to use his ability to gain life to hand. But that just gives us the ability to kill him next turn because he, there's no way he's getting rid of three battle cards. Like the, he, he just he just isn't. So okay. Yeah, this th this Gohan's actually useless. Um, that's that's the only thing I have to say. So he's gonna, you know, he has five five energy. He's gonna try to crit us again. This only works if he has the ban card. Okay, so he has the ban card. He does have ban card. And he gets to draw one. He's gonna attack and he's gonna get to draw one. So we are gonna lose two life again because I'm not blocking this. I'm not blocking this, bro. You, you shouldn't waste any of your... It's it's obvious I'm not blocking this. It's it's clear as day I'm not blocking this. I want to awaken. But you know what? I'm gonna let him waste two cards from hand. If me taking two damage means two less cards in hand from him, I'm all for it. Like, it, it looks like he's winning because he's had control of the game so far. But now, now that I can flip, I'm, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I, I literally win from here. I put down this lightning, this, this lightning speed Vegito, and I basically win. He's going to try to double strike me. He's going to put himself down to one life. Oh, my God. Why would you do that? That's not even game. It's not even game. Like you would need like four super combos in your hand for this to be game. All right, 20K. Because if I awaken right now and I draw two super combos, like your your whole play is done, and you're sacrificing your cards in hand. Because I definitely beat this. I definitely beat this. Uh, <laughs> Finally! Oh my god! It took so long. Oh, you, you, you can't get back in? Damn. I mean, it's it's up till 1.30, so you, you should be all right. Okay. So we're going to use this Gohan. And... He has three energy left. So I wonder what he wants to do, but you know what? I already have this on board and I already have Goku and Vegeta. So I guard that, he can't do that again for the rest of the game. And he just scooped. Oh my god. He put all that hope into that one play. He's so lucky that um that the one drop red was a Gohan because I, which I don't even know why that's in the deck if that's a Gohan. But yeah. Really solid. Really, so Vegito is really solid. I I could have threatened game that one turn, 